Hey everyone, it's Amber Hurdle, author of The Bombshell Businesswoman, How to Become a Bold, Brave Female Entrepreneur. In the book, I talk about a lot of different tech tools that you can use to really make your small business run more effectively without a lot of drama because I know sometimes technology can be more of an enemy than a friend. And in a previous video, I walked you through G Suite and all of the nifty things that you can do with that that makes your business look super pro and makes your life a whole lot easier. And I mentioned that one of the parts of that offering, which is as low as $5 a month per user, is access to um, to Google Sites. So this is um, my intranet. And just like I explained on the other video, um, I encourage my clients to create an intranet so that there is a one-stop shop for your team members to find everything that they might need. So there's no, what folder is that in? Or how do you do this? Or, I mean, you are just streamlined at this point. This is very easy to create. I mean, drag and drop. Um, you can do it, I promise. Uh, it's, it's, it's really hard to screw up, as a matter of fact. In, in fact, sometimes I get a little frustrated because I want to customize it even a little bit more, but it just keeps you in your lane. So I wanna show you what is on mine, and then you can consider what would be on yours. So in order to access this site, I have restricted it to only people who have an amberhurdle.com email address. So you can make sites that are public, like if you have something that maybe you want clients to be able to access, or you can, um, you know, do like I did and, and make it an intranet, meaning it's only for internal purposes. So on the home page, um, you know, I'm the brand. Unfortunately, my face is kind of the brand. <laughs> that was a real awkward time to get through. But now I'm like, eh, it's like the Nike swoosh. It just happens to be my face. Um, so um, what everybody to know is what it's about. Um, know the team. So just scrolling through here, some of the team members and some of the vendors that we use regularly as well. Um, so that people know who they're talking to because our, my team is not all on site. Um, a lot of people are remote and so they have access to their contact information, a little bit about them, and they can put a face with the name. And that's really important in any organization, especially if you have different shifts that you have um, that maybe people don't know each other very well. When you have a new person come on board, you can add them to the site. Um, company culture, of course, I say that your brand begins and ends with your company culture. So um, we definitely hire to the culture and um, we come back to that in all of our decision making. So that is definitely listed here. In operations, let's just look at tools, for example. These are the tools that we use. So um, there's training um, and these are just embedded. These are these are the company's own videos. So I give a little um, explanation of what it is. And then, um, you know, then we have other applications that I just embedded a uh, Google Sheet that links out to all of those. But these are the key ones that are used every single day. So anybody can hop in here and get a refresher on what it is that we're doing. So we have, you know, vendors, company news, digital organization is a big one. Um, if you want everybody on the same page, Make sure that people are organizing your documents um, in, in every aspect. So if you use a Google Drive, if you use um, uh, Dropbox, if you use, uh, I mean, anything, like even on your desktop, in your email, you want to make sure that you stick to these same categories. Um, and then I explain what those are and what goes into them so that everybody's on the same page there. So whatever you need to explain in your day-to-day -day ops that will help your, um, your team members stay uh, consistent is exactly what you need there. <clears throat> Moving on to training, um, these are some of the things that we do on a regular basis. So let's just take a peek at podcast real quick. Um, if somebody is new to helping us with um, our podcasting efforts, then they can hop in here. Um, we have our vendors that we use, the process and the resource and linking out to that. Again, this is just a Google Doc that is embedded into this site. So um, you can restrict its visibility based on, um, on your Google Doc settings, which I showed you in a previous email, or in a previous video rather. Um, this is how you publish, you know, written instructions. And then of course we have 
um, a video on how to do it as well. So that will walk any team member through how to um, upload a podcast and what to do next and all that kind of stuff. So you can see some of the things that we do here. Very important. You know, I'm all about some branding and consistent branding. And so I want you to have your brand standards. These are mine. Um, colors, fonts, how we use the logos. Um, here are all of the brand documents. So if somebody needs a 50 word bio because I'm going to go speak or they need to put something at the beginning of um, their podcast show notes or introduce me or whatever, everything that we need is right here. If we're asking um, a new vendor or even a current vendor to um, create something for us, like for example, Anthony Tran and Lynn Tran over at Marketing Access Pass when, um, when they worked on the Bombshell Businesswoman uh, website, they we sent them the Bombshell Business Ideal Customer Profile again. Now they knew it before, but they have lots of projects to work on. Um, so it's just a nice refresher to remember exactly who it is that we're trying to speak to authentically. So um, these are different documents that I have. And then of course, um, logos and fonts are easily accessed in Dropbox because they're nice large files and we can share those with different creative vendors. And I have an entire chapter in the Bombshell Businesswoman about how you can interact with creative vendors. So um, graphic designers, web designers, videographers, that sort of thing. And then real quick, public images, I am a, a public personality. And so when somebody does a story on me, or again, I'm a, a guest on a podcast, or I'm you know being interviewed on television, um, all of the images that they might need, including the podcast art, book covers, um, lifestyle images of me and my family, those are all in here. So depending on what type of business you have, you might have pictures of your salon, or maybe you and your um, attorney partners. Um, it could be product images but you want to have those easily accessible so if you need to hand that off to a team member which you probably should be doing um, or if it, if it's just you if you're the only person in your business you know exactly where to go to get it and you don't have to hop in between different um, like Google Google Drive and Dropbox and Evernote and the different tools that you use um, so that is that and then of course everybody has content so right here I'm just gonna go only to social media but you can see the other categories that I have um, you know all of my social media profiles are right here so they're easily accessible um, we can just link right to them um, and then the social media tools that we use and why and it links to them um, and then our different measuring tools that we use and again it links to them and explains what it is so I don't have to repeat this over and over and over again there is a hub of information now if you've ever worked for a large company you probably used an intranet before and I'm just saying a lot of the strategies that I want to teach you through the Bombshell Businesswoman and, and through all of the communication that I share um, even outside of the book is that you can take big business strategies and dial them down to whatever size business you have. Even if it was just me, I would keep all of this information handy and central in a location like this because now I don't have to dig and this is where you start getting time back and this is when you stop running around like a crazy woman because let's face it, bombshells, we're busy women. We have a lot of responsibilities and that's exactly what makes us a bombshell. So I would encourage you, check out Google Sites. Um, it's part of the G Suite and um, and you can see how to put together a intranet for your team to make your life easy peasy.